Hello internet world, it has been an extremely exciting day today because the Google Nexus 9 tablet got delivered plus another product which I didn't even know was actually going to be delivered today. I knew it was on its way but I didn't know what day it was going to land in the studio and I finally got a case for my iPad Air 2. So you can see I've had a move around in the studio and this is the new position for the Blue Lounge studio desk and over here is the Nexus 9 that turned up. Let me just wake it up. You can see the new notification screen on there. Very nicely sort of presented on the front home screen there. And look at this. Wow. It is a very, very nice device. Now, if you haven't seen my unboxing and first look, please do check it out. Very, very cool device. Really pleased with it. So let's turn that off and have a look at this this was what I didn't expect to be delivered today. This is my Lomography Lomo Instant Limited Edition camera. This was a Kickstarter campaign. One of the only tech campaigns that I've actually supported and one that I knew was going to be delivered because it was backed by a larger company. I knew this was going to actually come into production and this is it. It's a Lomography camera with extra lenses and it's an instant as well so it uses Fuji Instax film it also came with a bonus camera strap I think this was one of their stretch goals and it just looks absolutely gorgeous obviously I had to have the one with the orange coloring on the front so I'm really keen to actually have a play with that and see what it produces and now I also talked in a previous video about not having a case for my iPad Air 2 finally got one and this was a very cheap one i thought it was off of ebay but in fact i ordered it off of amazon and it was 6.99 or 7.99 or was it off ebay no it was an ebay one i ordered one off of ebay one off of amazon and this is the ebay one the amazon one hasn't been delivered yet uh, went for it in black because they didn't have a white color in this particular one it just looks a little bit better quality than the other cases i was looking at have a look around the back see here I mean it's not top end case but it's fine it fits absolutely perfectly the gold against the black looks really nice actually cutouts for the camera and all the controls and then if I turn it over and open it you'll see it actually has the uh, automatic sort of sleep wake function so it will wake the device when you open it and it's got this soft material that goes against the screen and then also underneath the iPad it's got soft material padding there as well fits really nice it just clips in works fine I think this also folds round I'm not going to do it one handed but this also folds round and acts as a stand as well and it just goes to show I mean obviously when you spend more money the quality does sort of show through in the product but it really goes to show that you can get a cheap case and it work pretty well you know it's more than functional and this is fine until more manufacturers cases come onto the market the actual name of it on the side is if I can read it Swiss S W E E S if you want to search it out please do but I think that was a, a bargain I think it was about six pounds ninety nine so that has been pretty much my day so far and I've just also finished recording my iPad Air 2 and Google Nexus 9 comparison video now this is not going to be a very in-depth comparison because I've only had the Google Nexus 9 since first thing this morning but it's going to at least give you the opportunity to see the size differences, UI differences, materials as well. My first impressions, obviously, on the Nexus 9 in comparison to the iPad Air 2. And some of the other little differences I've noticed already. So well worth checking out. It should be up on the channel either by the time you're watching this video or very soon after. My unboxing and first impressions is obviously already on the channel. Now, I'm sort of hovering the camera in this direction this is getting out of control look at all of these products i keep putting the products out on the desk there ready to record some of them i've already started testing and then these other products come in like the nexus 9 so everything stops with the other products and then i also had to deal with moving the desk around and doing sort of some multi-camera video as well which you'll see in the nexus 9 unboxing and you'll also see it in my iPad Air 2 review, which is going to be on the channel probably over the weekend. So it's been a really exciting day, and I really do like that Nexus 9 tablet. It's a beautifully made piece of hardware. 
Only thing I didn't like, and I did say this in my first impressions video, is I thought it was going to be a really nice sort of bright white colour, when in fact it's almost a light grey, so a little bit disappointed about that. But still, it's still a fine piece of hardware. I'll be bringing you some more coverage and more opinion about it over the coming weeks. So I hope you've all had a fantastic day. The weather, just a weather update, I like to see what it's like in the southeast of England. Not very good. It's been raining most of the day. We've got a little bit of light coming in now, but it isn't fantastic weather and it's definitely got colder. So I've had to have the central heating on. The new central heating, by the way, which is working very well indeed. Much better than the previous uh, central heating boiler we had. Everything went bright then. Sun come out a bit? No, it's still horrible outside. Hmm. Anyway, I shall leave it at that. Not sure what this camera's doing lately. It keeps going sort of light, dark, light, dark. Yeah, I might have to sort of do some tests to see if there's a problem with the RX100 Mark III. It also seems to be taking a long time to focus lately as well. I'm not sure if you've noticed that in the videos. Maybe I need to clean the lens. Anyway, I shall not waffle on anymore. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button, leave me some comments, and I'll see you all as I go out of focus in the next one.